Welcome to Shore Perspectives, a community feature of WESR Radio, highlighting the spirit of the shore from those who call it home. My name is Terry Thomas, and I am the Deputy Chief, Deputy Fire Chief here at uh, Station 14, Sheridan Volunteer Fire Company. We are uh, having a haunted corn maze uh, all, every Saturday in October and also on Halloween night as a fundraiser for the fire company. So I normally do not look like this. Um, but uh, have to get in the uh, in, into character, into the spirit of the, uh, of the event. This is our first time starting the haunted corn, ma corn maze here at the station. Um, in years past, we would uh, give um, assistance to other areas. Uh, for example, uh, before Outdoor Sun, um, before Cherry Stone changed hands to, to Outdoor Sun, we would uh, volunteer down at the, um, I think it was called Scary Stone, and we would do that uh, for so many years. Sometimes we wouldn't have enough help and we'd drift off and not do it one year or two and then we'd come back and, and give them a hand. So uh, the ones that are here, the members that are here, plus new members, but the ones that remember what we did and how we did it, we kind of took that idea and we have some farmers, of course, in the, uh, in the firehouse. So we planted the corn, or they planted the corn, I should say, which is right next to the fire company. And so we said, we're gonna try it on our own. We've had a, a good outpouring of support from the community already, and we, um, we're looking forward to doing it for years to come and getting better and better. It, this takes a lot of work. Uh, we've been working on this for about the last two to three months, whether it's uh, building uh, props to go into uh, the corn maze or even outside. It's taken a lot of volunteer effort. All of the uh, volunteers here at the uh, firehouse, we have, we've come together, we were meeting once a week, first once a month and once a week, and then nightly to whether it be discuss what we need to do to make this happen or even to literally build some of the props or some of the sets that we will use. Um, we have the majority of our members uh, handling, doing this, leading it, um, I'd say 20 to 25, and then we have the extended fa the families and extended families of all of the uh, volunteers are coming together to help bring it together. Uh, we even have uh, some of the um, high school students that are coming down to give us a hand. My name is Riley. I'm Morgan. Um, I definitely like dressing up. I also this is my first time doing this, so I'm really excited to see like the adrenaline, how the adrenaline rush feels, and um, yeah, the adrenaline rush definitely. My name's Kyle Sturgis. I get scaring people, you know, it's uh, I have to hold back the laughter sometimes, watching people fall down and take off running, and so uh, yeah, it's it's pretty comical. Uh, that's a, that's the a best part for me. It's just kind of getting a joy out of that. You're you bringing know. your inner child out. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I don't get to do this kind of stuff often, obviously. So uh, when you get to do it, it's kind of fun. Kids love to scare kids, whether you're a big kid or a little kid. We they love to do that, and so do the big kids too. We love doing that as well. Uh, so we we will probably end up having. I would guess anywhere between 30 and 50 people, maybe not at the same night, but coming together to make this happen throughout the month of October. This is a uh, walk-through uh, maze. It's actually not a maze, it's really a path because there's no, I don't want to give a, a, a lot away, but there's no uh, place where you go down to a dead end. So that helps a lot of people when they realize they're not going to get to a dead end, turn around and be scared, but we have enough um, work that we've done within the path, we'll call it, uh, so that it will give the uh, the person who's going through a good experience and they they will get uh, every penny's worth of what they paid I am certain of that when I hear screams in the cornfield that means we've done our job right um, whether the, the louder the scream the more uh, for lack of better words blood curdling scream that we hear we know okay we did something right uh, if we don't hear anything that's when we go okay we got to change something up because we're not we're not being as effective as we need to be so uh, the the more that we hear the better it is hey I'm Brian Sparrow I'm the president here at the Charon Volunteer Fire Company Haunted Corn Maze is running every Saturday this month of October and Halloween night Prices are $8 for 16 and up, 15 to 3 is $5, and under 3 is free. Buckle up, bring your, your courage, and see if you can make it through our maze without be getting scared, because we're out here to scare you, and hey, we're, we're looking for you to have fun, and we are too. It's kind of in the name, the volunteer fire company, the volunteer portion of it. 
uh, we are 100% volunteer, a volunteer service. Uh, there is nobody on this property that is paid to do this. So when, uh, when someone needs our service, um, everyone comes from whatever, whatever they're doing, whether it's bed or work or driving down the road, going to the store, they stop what they're doing and they answer the call. Uh, because we always know that whenever the, the call does go out, somebody's day is just tragically turned bad. So we want to give back to our community by helping that person who is all of a sudden having a bad day, whatever that may be. And we do things like this. We have fun doing it. I mean, most people see uh, the firefighters in, in the midst of chaos, what they're doing, whether they're, they're going into a burning building or helping someone at a, at a vehicle accident. But what a lot of people don't realize is a volunteer fire company, a volunteer service, gets our money from them, from the, from the community. We don't have, uh, we don't make our own money somewhere, some other kind of way. So everything we do, like the like the haunted corn maze, we use those profits to go back into the fire company so we can maintain our building and maintain our trucks and maintain the equipment. Um, because to, to outfit one firefighter in full gear is in excess of $10,000, if not more. So it takes a lot of money to run the fire company because we have to abide by the standards too. After 10 years, we have to get rid of the old stuff and buy the new stuff to, to uh, be in compliance with the state and, and, uh, and federally as well. So it does take a lot of money. One of, the, one of the other things is, you know, even though we are a volunteer, we are very much a family. You know, we, we all get along and we enjoy working with each other, whether we're getting paid for it or not. So, you know, like Terry said, you know, it may be the worst day of your life, but we're, we're more than, you know, happy to wake up at 2 a.m. or whatever it may be to come in and, you know, and, and assist you because, you know, for some reason that puts joy in our hearts to know that, you know, we're, we're helping someone and each time we do it, it just, it just gets bigger and bigger, you know? So, I mean, it's, you know, people say, well, you don't get paid for it. Well, you don't have to get paid for everything to, to do something that, you know, you're, you're making other people feel good. Uh, we ask for volunteers. We want volunteers. And there's a process that we go through with the with the members of the fire company once an application does come in, uh, because it does go before the entire company and the board as well. Uh, but we will never turn down any application, even junior uh, uh, firefighters. Uh, anybody under 18 years old, I believe it's, we might start at 15 or if 14. I'm, four, 14. We start at 14. Uh, and upwards uh, under 18 um, so we will not turn down a uh, a, a junior uh, junior volunteer as well get out and see what your your local volunteer fire company is doing and if you're interested in helping you know ask them and and I'm sure any one of them whether it's us or any other volunteer fire company would glad to have you know your volunteerism your service and I will say if you're ever passing by the, the station specifically uh, Sheridan, I'm sure other departments will do it too. But if you're ever passing by and you see our doors up or you, you see that we're here, we're maybe washing a truck or whatever, and you want to stop by, we'll give you a tour. We, we might put a little bit of spark in you that you didn't realize maybe you wanted to be a part of the fire company. But if you see us here, stop. We'll show you around. We'll show you what we have. We'll, we'll give you a tour of the station and some of the trucks. And uh, maybe it'll uh, make a difference in your life or, uh, or someone else's. For Shore Perspectives and WESR Radio, I'm Kelly Gaskell.